uh, last time the matter came up, it was actually 11th May 2023, it came up for mention. And the, the League Council, Professor Michael Zekume, was in court. So, and the court said that since it's coming up for mention, because penultimate time he came up, they called in seat. So the date was given off record. So the court says this matter is coming up for mention. That's his practice that it will be an order that will be taken for hearing. Um, our late counsel, Professor Michael Zippen, was in court and the date was adjourned, matter was adjourned for today for hearing. So uh, we are informed this morning in court that his lordship is not disposed to entertain matters going on for hearing. And uh, or matters uh, that he's going to take matters going on for ruling. That's in this case, he's ready to de deliver ruling on matters he has taken and judgment. So uh, consequently, the matter has been adjourned. And uh, unfortunately, the late counsel, Professor Michael Zekume, uh, traveled all the way from Calabar uh, to be here this morning for this matter. But unfortunately, the matter didn't go on. So um, we have an option to wait till uh, next adjourned date to follow it up. Of course, you know the. Sister case coming up next week for judgment on 20th of, um, of July, 2023 for judgment. Uh, this matter actually was filed before the judgment was delivered in our appeal on October 13th, 2022. The substance in effect is, is we're inviting the court to interpret the level section of the domestic and international laws, which the federal government grievously violated in an attempt in abduction of Mazen Namdekan in Kenya and his consequent extraordinary rendition to Nigeria. So the court is invited to interpret those laws and also make pronouncements on reliefs we are seeking for. However, the substance of this case has been settled by the Court of Appeal judgment in principle. So because the questions we are inviting the court to answer in this case has been answered in the positive by the Court of Appeal. So what we are here actually just to inform the court that this question has been answered and also to ground release we are seeking for and make far reaching pronouncements and damages are there from. That's all. Thank you. So the is it what? We are asking for damages of 50 billion naira. I account of that. And also, the most important thing for the federal government to realize about the, the seriousness of, the, of their actions and the illegality of the actions uh, has already been pronounced by the Court of Appeal. And so the courts, this court is merely inviting to make uh, to be abided by the, by the, by the government of the Court of Appeal. Yeah. No, sister case is an application we filed to compel the, the SSS to allow Mazenam to get access to his medical doctors in line with the order of the court and, and also to avail us of the court records, is the medical records and also uh, the lawyers and, and the, and the doctor, doctors. So this is the substance of the sister case which is coming up on them on, uh, on 20th. And also, the, remember the court made a pronouncement. Uh, this court Honorable Justice uh, Binta Nyoko made a pronouncement about the manner in which uh, Namdekan will be visited. The court said three persons must visit him at a go. So, and this order has been roundly violated by the, by the DSS. So, because they changed the entire system, three persons are no longer allowed to visit in Namdekan. So, these are part of the issues the court are, are, have invited, been invited to interpret and also resolve. But these are the, this is a substitution order of court made by His Lordship Honorable Justice Nyako, and which DSS is violating. Uh, with, uh, with impunity. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Thanks so much. Have a great day.